Hi there, it's Dr. Judith Bryles with another tip about enhancing your journey as an author, book marketing ideas, and today let's talk about your details page where your book is listed, whether it's online, in a retail outlet, you need to go back and review it. Don't let it just be stagnant. Number one, you know, Google is watching all of this. And that if you have to remember with Google, you have 160 characters that includes punctuation and spaces when they are pulling in information about any type of book. For title, it's 60 characters. So when you're creating your description page, one of the things is to do updates and you can do it with many punches, many headlines. You may have had a bestseller category all of a sudden happen, do an announcement. Maybe there has been a fabulous review that's come in that you want to, to um, highlight. You could change your detail page and do a lead with it. So if you have won any awards, man, move it to the top of your detail page. You know, um, that your book, your title, and it is the winner of three national book awards or something like that. And you could even pull a quote if anything comes from that. If you do get a excellent review from something like a book list or, or Blue Ink Reviews or Clarion or Forward type of thing, I would be going into there to find mm, the one punchy sentence that comes out and I would move it as a lead to your description. Number one, the search engines love it. Number two, parents, if it's for children, will love it. Um, three, your, your attended target market will be pulled in because that, those blurbs will come in and have attractor keywords, they always do, that will be directed directly to them. So be smart, change your, your description page Every couple of months, at least, move things around a little bit so it gives it a little SEO juice. I'm Judith Bryles. Do follow me on my Twitter at MyBookShepherd.